Yeah, there we have our first intersection. College Ave to Cedar Street. I think that's Cedar behind me. That's where a friend of mine used to live in the 80s. I think we're heading to College Ave. Although I could be wrong. Plenty of signage though. And as you can see here, it's mostly a fully equipped modern pathway. With all the amenities, personal touches like little gardens and stuff. Stone sitting things. And lots of people. I got a bit of excavation going on. So that heads towards North Station. And this is our shaded, quiet way to Davis Square once we get past the various excavation stuff. See if we can't figure out what this next street is. This has got to be pretty handy if you have the bicycle. Now oh, there's even an extra sort of dirt trail over there. And look, a little benches, I tell you. Sturdy, moron proof, but nonetheless comfortable and interesting benches for the weary stroller and the occasional bereft wino. See, here's an example of a little vernacular garden thoughtfully put up by somebody or other. Just because it's, they like the path. And there's a playground with porosity and access to it. Ready access to the street. Nice brickwork. Looks like it'll hold up for a while. It's not something you run into every day in the Commonwealth. There's some urban regs for us. <clears throat> they seem to boil down to don't be a dick, no public disturbances, which are more common in the cities, and leave the cigs and booze somewhere else, pick up after your mutt. Heaven knows the pooches need a place to go. Didn't seem to mention leashes though, that might be baked into the urban scheme anyway. Another quiet shaded section, soon to meet a street. Little cobblestone walls. They must have paved over this in the 90s or something. Either that or they got a really crap contractor. It's already kind of beat up.
thing. Why, it's the epitome of responsiveness. A 311 number. Oh, I see it. Your one call to City Hall. See, and here's some more gardening. More cool little benches. This is presumably College Ave. They don't actually put signs to indicate the streets, but I can hazard guesses. Yeah, I remember this intersection. It goes up to Magoon Square. I think there were railroad tracks here then. Willow Ave. So there we are. I guess it's Willow Ave, actually. There's an intersection. And at this point, the thing will be coming into. Davis Square momentarily, you can kind of see it in the distance. There's more of these charming examples of civic exuberance in the form of little vernacular gardens. Nothing like no hands when you're a grown-up. Uh, you can get a sense of the general <coughs> mix of activity along this thing. Small manufacturing businesses, overpriced houses and apartments. See, there's another bit of porosity taking you to work. No, oh, there's a faint smell of camphor. I don't know why. dark enough to make the lights come on, <clears throat> even though it's only about one or two in the afternoon. Here's more of these easy access to the streets and neighborhoods, <clears throat> that porosity thing. More of Mayor Kurt Atone assuring you They'll respond if you call about a light being out, and so forth. Some local vernacular art. Oh, this is a scrailing. I can tell. Smitty's been here. So from the scrailing, <coughs> we have an ad hoc memorial. And then, it's more of the trail. At this point, it should be spilling into Davis Square. Ah, more scrailing, funny little benches. Ah, oh, yeah, this must be Smitty's yard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I get it. <laughs> and that goes all the way to North Station. This goes all the way to Northampton if you're to follow the entire Mass Central Rail Line. Lily Fest. Yes. Mm. 
now we're right up on Davis Square. I see. Yeah, we were back at Cedar Street. And actually, it routes over on this side of the parking lot. This defeats porosity a little bit, but we'll work with it. And we more or less head in a straight line right down to the Davis Square T station. After that, pass through Davis Square and explore where this thing runs off towards Cambridge for a ways in the ale life. In future adventures, I'll try to see what it's doing in Waltham. See, this is the back side of Davis Square, so I know and love it. And I let you know that the bikeway continues on the other side of the square.